Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at the brand new monster, Master Pet. This is basically a combination of Master Rat and Nishin's Pets. So, really cool. I feel like we're going to be getting a lot more of these combinations. Um, especially because Nishant and Dr. Victor are working together and they're creating these monsters. So I'm really excited for this. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster. All the cells need to take this monster to rank 5. Any gems I use will be reimbursed. And they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. So let's take a look at this combination. Yeah, that looks exactly how I would imagine. That's cool. Nishin created Master Pet with Dr. Victor's help and the cells of two monsters. Master Rats, who he, who he got brought in straight from the eastern regions and the cells of his own pet who used to be famous for his extraordinary possession skills boy is that true back when nishin's pet was out and the meta was around denial he was one of the better ones all right traits you are immune to possession you have the umbrella hardened traits and then you have a status caster true vision meaning your precision is doubled as far as the trait goes not really that impressive i would say so now let's see how the stats compare to the other monsters in the game Alright, so I am currently categorized by the life set, and as you can see, he's quite on the squishier end. We have 132,704, titled that of Boulder and Teddy Wave, the average being 133k, so a little below average. In terms of a power stat, this monster is also not an attacker. As you can see, he has one of the lower power stats in the game, second lowest stats, tied with quite a few other monsters, Shivery and Tubricon, 10,230, yeah. The lowest power stat currently in the game of the Blossom Era is 10,208, but the speed stat. This monster is relatively fast, definitely not the fastest, 8118 titled that of Magmar. Um, yeah, the average is 8046, so honestly, stats wise, not really that impressive, trait wise, not really that impressive, so now we need to explore the skills. Alright, Master Rat, let's see what you have. Health Follower deals low dark damage to an enemy, applies a random elemental protection to itself, it is spammable with zero cooldown, assuming you have the 25 stamina for it. Triple Slice applies nightmares to all enemies. Spammable Nightmare AoE. Swift Yell deals low dark damage to all enemies and applies nightmares to all enemies. Another AoE nightmares. We have Gloomy Form applies random elemental protection and damage boost to any ally you wish on a one turn cooldown. Snake Like Fangs deals low dark damage to all enemies, applies possession to all enemies, and requires a cooldown. We have Reversed Mode, deals low leg damage to an enemy, applies possession and double damage to an enemy. Okay, nowadays I, I would say this really, most of the time this isn't worth running. A lot of times monsters have hardened, and when monsters have hardened, it's possible that you land the double damage, or you always land the positive effect. So you'll land the double damage, but you might not land the possession, so then you're giving the enemy a free boost. Also, a lot of these monsters tend to have ET skills, so even if they are possessed and they attack their team, on the, the you know, they'll be able to go again. I, I feel like buffing the enemy it's not really beneficial for you unless it's like a guaranteed possession even then typically teams only have like one main attacker and if they're not going next in the turn order and the enemy like cleanses away the possession i feel like there's so much that can go wrong it's the similar to when you revive the enemy right with like no one ever uses that uriel revive the enemy skill it's just most of the time it just is not worth it weak form applies possession to an enemy twice so increasing the likelihood of possession to land it also will not trigger any talents or relics because it deals no damage Rat and Bat deals low dark damage, applies a 25 damage boost to all allies. So, another monster that isn't that good. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what's up with the season. Like, it's very it's very lackluster, which also may maybe means that the bounty on monsters that tells monsters are going to be phenomenal. I don't know. But, because we've seen this before, like, lackluster monster at the start, and then, like, whoa, what happened? Um, if I was to run this monster, I mean, traditionally he's a denier, so you'd go AoE possession, you would go... That's it, right? You have two possession skills. I don't get. I don't get what's with all the nightmares. Like maybe it's just to stick with like the the monster design. But I wish they would have maybe done like a plays nightmares nightmare hater to the team and then nightmares to the enemy. That would make more sense. You really don't need the nightmares. Um, you have a way of boosting the team. I, gosh, I wish you could cleanse or something. Apply possession double damage to an enemy. We could try running it, but I'd really rather not. Probably that protection applies a random elemental protection and damage boost that honestly might be deals not applies a random elemental protection that yeah gloomy form you could like random elemental protection your megaton monster because you're going to run this with a megaton monster ideally we'll see how we'll see whether he works out or not so here's master pets and in terms of a setup for this guy uh ideally you want him to go 
You want them to be fast, so like two speed and a team speed, something like that. Or you can go all three team speed, have them go last in the turn order. Realistically, this is not a monster you're going to be using. If I'm being completely honest, you're not really going to use too much of this monster. Um, anything to recover your stamina. I'd honestly go stamina drain in here in case you were to get hit. And here I'd go with anything that can give a dot. Anything that can deal some damage to the enemy. Um, Sigil would let you use your best skills. Maybe this. After damaging, applies ignite to target. Yeah. Heck, maybe you do your nightmares and you have ignite and nightmares. Yeah, this is not really that great of a monster, but we're going to see if we can make him work. We're going to use him with Shadow. She's currently level 126, but she does have two level 10 runes and a level 9 rune. So by giving her three speed and then a team speed to master, but he will go second. And we'll just see if we can possess a lot. Hopefully I can trade to save everyone. Hopefully I don't face any Galvanists or anything. For those of you new to the channel, I will be exiting out of the battles as it is not fair for me to win with the monster that was given to me by SP for the sole purpose of an exclusive first look. So ignorance is bliss, absolute zero. Okay. Demonic Angel. I lost my Pango, unfortunately. Maybe I should use the King. Um, but with that being said, even though I'm poisoned, I think we'll be okay here. So I'm going to do remove positive effects. Do I really need to remove anything from you? Maybe not. Evasion. Oh, yeah, I do. So dismantle spell first. Oh, it's down or draining. All right, well... I could do the possession, a possession actually working, and there we go, everyone successfully gets possessed. Success. Forgotten, oh, ET skill, and now I'm trade disabled. There's the Vada Magma kicking in, Repent Sinner, thank you for taking your own team. I mean, possession is a great denial, it's just the PvP meta right now um, makes it really difficult to use possession. Alright, and then let us exit out. Oh, don't need to exit out because I got destroyed. All right, let's uh, let's strategize. What went wrong? I don't have a way. I should have had this. Okay, there we go. And I don't even know what that is. Well, let's put on sigil on my monster, so I can reuse my best skills. And now we'll see if it works better. We'll stick with Pango. If he dies again, we'll switch to King. Although I think Pango has higher life because my King isn't maxed out. All right, we're taking on a Pierce monster. Let's see if we can possess them. Trade a Seable monster, not a problem. Um, that's Sunburn, darn. Oh, that Sunburn just eats away too much of my life. Oh, I hate that, see? Disable trait. Darn it. Light Hater. Honestly, Light Hater would be really useful in this situation. Um, let's cleanse negative effects. I'm going to get wrecked here. Um, yeah, I mean, in this case, there's really nothing to do. Maybe we'll give him a protection, but he has Pierce, so of course I'm going to die. Light Hater would have been really, really nicer. All right, um, on to the next battle we go. And again, I, I'm doing these videos knowing that Denial is hard to showcase in PvP. It's really more of a monster that used in a war scenario. And even then, just about every single war scenario has Megaton monsters that you can utilize. SP has released so many different ton of Megaton monsters. And so many of the meta monsters are in so many books that it's kind of hard to use them. Um, I have a death count, a curse countdown on me. All right, let's see if I can't stop you though. <laughs> Why? Trade disable ET. Why would you have anticipation? Let's just cleanse. Um, I guess we'll damage boost. I don't know. I should have done the random protection to Pango. That would have been smarter. Yeah, that would have been a lot smarter. Chosen prey, mud body, trial, darn. Let me, um, let me try, I mean, I don't know, remove positive effects, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how else I can showcase it, um, disable traits, sure, but then you'll get a turn in, and then I was gonna possess, yeah, huh, the, I, I look forward to to the day when PvP, when Denial becomes meta again, I just don't see it with the kind of monsters that are released. Yeah, and I can rink them up, but I don't think it'll matter much. Alright, we'll, we'll end with Tom Still on, on 130, and then we'll take him to rank 5, and I, I'm going to have to use a different team, because Shadow's going to be way too fast. Um, I can trade Disable, he's going to OTK my Pango, but we'll do it. Magic Burst. Oh, shocked. They didn't even catch that. Okay, that works out for me. Possession! And with that increased accuracy, the possession does land. 
So they are possessed. Thanks to Vada Magma, they have Ignite. He attacks his own team. That's how possession should work. Awesome. Look at all that damage. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's give myself a shield. Uh, let's cleanse. All those dots are dead. And then here I could probably, just to see what that random protection is. Let's see, what did I give myself? Dark protection. Hey, super useful. All right, let's go to rank five and let's showcase Master Pet a little more. I might have been calling it a Master Rat. Um, whatever. Okay, let's see if this is any better. I doubt it. Also, to make him slower, I gave him one speed, two team speed. And next, I might just give him all three team speed and just use him like as a, as a, like, secondary denier kind of monster. Like, if I need to deny, let's deny. Uh, but yeah, we, we'll see if it works out or not. Uh, Robbers, Lord Inheritor, Snowgross. And this is why you, you, you really can't use deniers the way you used to be able to. Like, they have to get, you need someone to get through that first. Otherwise, watch. Let me cleanse. Otherwise, this is a situation you have three speed. You go first, and you're like, "Well, what do I do? Just possess the Megaton monster?" Sure, you know, it doesn't really help you out. So let's just do a protection. Got cleansed away, which will also happen a lot of times. Um, so that didn't help much. I can remove it, and then lost that recharge. Yeah. Oh, it's just it's hard to showcase these monsters. I have like zero motivation because there's nothing you can do in PvP really. Dang. They didn't even realize I got rid of this. Um. What if I... Odd team speed, as I mentioned. I don't even have it. I'm just gonna give them a life. <laughs> At this point, I don't even care. I'm like, whatever, do Whatever, if you work out, you work out. If not, you don't. Alright, let's put Teddy Bomb in there. Let's give him, like, a Sphere of Destiny or something. I mean, it's funny too because when the meta was denial, it was really like the fastest monster wins, which is also boring and annoying. But now we're in like, I can't use AoEs because everyone is dodging. Oh my gosh. So there's no winning, regardless. All right, so let's see. I got hit with the nanovirus. That's fine. Explosion. I'm a baby. That's fine. The reason I ran Teddy Bomb is specifically so I could just do an AoE. Sphere of Destiny cleanses, and then I can go in for that possession. Um, we do have a dodge area monster there, of course, but I can possess the residual too, even with a bull rag, thanks to my increased accuracy. We take care of you. You just recharge. That's fine. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Mother Body, you're going to die. Emotional turn transfer, Repent, Sinner. So yeah, see, like, I have an attacker. And then if I needed a, that secondary deny, that's where Master Pet could come in. But again, most of the time you really won't need the monster. You realistically won't be using the monster. Heck, I don't even know where you get the monsters. Is it the free Legends Pass monster or something? I don't know. Well, guys, with that being said, this is Master Pet. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.